ever heard of the AudioQuest Dragonfly Red? Well, if you are an audiophile, you probably have. This is a USB DAC amp that decrampifies your mobile device's audio output. And does it work? Yeah, actually it does. I'm rather surprised. This $199 device is, in fact, pretty good for what it does. Here is the unboxing. The AudioQuest Dragonfly Red comes in two versions. Well, the Dragonfly Red itself, and then there's the Dragonfly Black. The Black is a lower spec version that is slightly less expensive. And then there's the Red, which goes for $199. If you go on Amazon, you'll find bundles for the Dragonfly Red with some additional accessories for $199. So you should just buy the one with all the accessories. And here it is. Here's the Dragonfly Red, as well as an iFi optimizer, which we'll get to. And there's a USB-C to USB-A hub if you need one. What is the iFi optimizer? Well, the optimizer is a cheaper version of a more expensive iFi optimizer that iFi sells. Basically, what this thing is supposed to do is that once you plug it into your 3.5mm jack, it should cut out some of the background noise and reduce the hiss that is inherent in poorly constructed 3.5mm jacks as well as poorly implemented DACs and amps. This really only applies to a couple of things. First, to older, much older devices, and second, to airplanes. Hence, the airplane adapter that you see there and the uh, foam tips to plug your ears with. <laughs> it's rather strange. Regardless, if you're gonna go on a flight and you want to bring your good headphones, you can, in fact, bring this iFi optimizer to try to reduce some of the inherent hiss and pops and all that other stuff that will come from the really bad headphone jack in the airplane seats. The optimizer itself is made of plastic and a little bit of rubber, and there's not much to it. Is it necessary for modern-day mobile devices? Absolutely not. It's really hard to find a mo modern-day mobile device that would require an optimizer at this juncture. Let's just get to the Dragonfly Red. The Dragonfly Red comes in a very nice cardboard box. It's nothing special. It's not like the AudioQuest headphones that come in fantastic packaging, but this thing just contains a USB stick, so you really shouldn't complain. Once you open the box, you see that there's a plastic retainer, and with the retainer comes the manual, a warranty card, and the USB stick. The manual, like with all of AudioQuest manuals, is simply amazing. It's full color, it's got really thick paper, and it's glossy, and it just feels fantastic. It's mostly marketing material and very little information on the Dragonfly Red itself, but that's okay. It's nice to look at if you're bored for a few minutes on your flight. There are two versions of this, as I hopefully previously stated. There's the red and then there's the black. If you get the red, you are getting more updated uh, DAC and amp chips inside this particular USB stick. So the difference is between $25 and $50 overall, depending on where you get it. It's probably worth spending the slightly extra cash to get the red. With the packaging also comes this kind of weird and unnecessary pleather case that you slide the Dragonfly Red into. I tried it afterwards and it's really tight to get in there, so I really wouldn't even bother. The Dragonfly Red is its kind of surprisingly heavy. It's made of metal and on one side is the three and a half millimeter jack, as you see, and on the other side, when you pull the cap off, is a regular USB-A tip. You just plug this thing into your computer and it should recognize it. I'm not sure about Windows, which sometimes requires drivers, but for Mac computers, it'll just show up. Now, if you're going to use this with a mobile device from Apple, like an iPhone, you are going to need the Lightning to Camera Adapter. And you need that specific adapter. No other adapter will work. For the iPhone to recognize the DAC amp, you're going to have to get this adapter and then plug it in. And when you have all this stuff sticking out of your pocket, it looks really weird. But unfortunately, this is the way that Apple has decided to have third-party manufacturers use their Lightning port. Overall, this is a great little DAC amp.